Hi everyone. In this video, I would like um, to show you the, some trigonometric tricks. Um, the easiest way that um, you can memorize the main angles without using any calculators. All right, let's begin. Um, the angles are zero pi over two pi. 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. These are the main angles that uh, I'm going to show you how to calculate. Um, first thing you need to know is um, pi is equal to 180 degrees. So this one becomes 90, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Is. Let me draw the table here. Sin theta, cos theta, fan theta, and cot. This is zero degrees pi over two pi three pi over two and two pi. Okay, to calculate um, these angles, we need to use the unit circle, as all of you guys probably know. The unit circle is the circle uh, is the circle with the radius of one. This is the x-axis, and always in trigonometric, the x-axis is cos, represent the cos, and the y-axis represent the sine theta. Always you have to memorize this, you need this for the rest of your life. Um, if we're in the mathematics probably. Um, let me write down here, unit circle, radius 1, um, sine, cos. Um, so here is 1, 1, 1, 1. Now I'm gonna put the point. So this point, as you can see, this is on the right hand side of the x-axis. The y is zero and the x coordinate is one. Here is um, zero and one. Here, if you can see, um, it's on the left hand side of the x-axis. So it's negative one and zero. It's at the bottom of the y uh, y axis so it's 0 and negative 1 it's easy okay the thing you need to know is um, always we start from this point so this is the start point and we go counterclockwise let me write it down here counterclockwise all right so let's put the angle here is zero degrees. This is zero. Alright. And each quarter of the circle is pi over two. So this is pi over two, pi over two, pi over two, and pi over two. Let me put it up here, you can see. It's much better now. Pi over 2, so this point is 0. If you go to this point, as you can see, you pass 1 pi over 2, so this point is pi over 2. If you want to <coughs> go to this point, you pass 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, so it's 2 pi over 2, which means pi. So the half circle is pi. If you want to go to this point, from the starting point, 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 of pi over 2, right? So this is 3 pi over 2. 
and this point when it goes back to the starting point it's you passed 4 pi over 2 it's 2 pi so one um, one circle of um, let me write it down here one circle is 2 pi so we are done the, with the circle um, I know you guys are thinking that it might be some kind, some kind of hard, but uh, trust me, you need this circle if you are doing the trigonometric, not just for these tables. You need this, you need to know this circle to understand the trigonometric. Okay, let's start here. So um, um, the sine is um, y coordinate. So we're working with the y coordinate when we want to calculate the sine. I don't know if you guys can see uh, here. And for the cos, we're working with the x coordinate because the x axis it's uh, represent the cos. So sine zero, where is zero? Zero is here, right? And we are looking for the y coordinate. What is the y coordinate? Zero. Where is pi over two? Pi over two is here. What is y coordinate? Is one. Pi pi is here. Y coordinate is zero. 3 pi over 2, y coordinate is negative 1. So sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. 2 pi is here. Again, 0. Not bad, huh? Cool. Um, for cos, cos alpha, cos 0 is here. What is the x coordinate? We're working with the x coordinate. See here? x coordinate. What is the x coordinate? 1. Cos pi over 2, what is x coordinate? 0. Cos pi, pi is here. Negative 1. See, x coordinate. 3 pi over 2, what is x coordinate? 0. Here again. Okay, guys, um, sine and alpha is done. Now I want to do tan and coat. Um, for tan and coat, um, I can use the circle, but it's more hard. So um, let me go to the table. Let me zoom in here so you can guys see better. Okay, all right. As all of you guys know, 10 is, write it down here, 10 is sine alpha over cos. And um, you need to know some, uh, um, you need to know some equation. Not really equation, um, it's a math rule. Um, zero over any number is zero and any number over zero is unknown or infinite right so um, now we just need um, to divide these two together see sine over cos so tan zero divided by one what is it zero one divided by zero you have to follow this rule one divided by zero is infinity zero over negative one is zero again negative 1 over 0 is uh, infinite 0 over 1 is 0 and uh, for code it's inverse cos theta over sine theta it's um, 1 over 0 is infinite um, 0 over 1 is 0 negative 1 over 0 infinite um, 0 and negative 1 see this is the inverse if you check if you see the tan and code the code is inverse of tan and also if you see the table here sin, sin, sorry, sine and cos <clears throat> cos is uh, shifted one unit to the left see one here zero here negative one negative one zero and one goes back okay guys um, pretty much that's it um, um, actually this is the first part for the second part um, I'm gonna show you um, how to calculate the I could calculate the angles pi over 3 pi over 3 pi over 4 pi over 6 um, again this one without the calculator um, the method I'm gonna show you it's more easier is more really easy um, to memorize so make sure to see my next video um, have a good day bye